Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Knock on the Coffin Lid, a roguelike deck builder about vampires. So let's get into it. Tutorial. This is tutorial tutorial to in introduce you to the game. Uh, would you like to play with the hints? Yes. This is your path. There are four events on it, as we can see. Regular battle, camp, fender, and elite. If click, so there's very much like a Slater Spa style, or maybe a Darkest Dungeon here. Invaders, get off our land. No. Believe when we cleanse the land of its filth. There's no filth here but you. Okay, this is our hero, Brother of Fire. Here is his health. Your ally, if they die, you will lose them forever. Your enemies, demon worshippers, note the effects. This guy has armor. This guy heals. Suddenly, the effects of an enemy, first thing you should do. These are your cards. We have a guard and we have some lunges. They cost energy. We have four energy to begin. Card types and their attack cards, the different they deal damage. If we were to go like one, two, three. And once you run out of energy, you have to end your turn. So he's got to give us strength. Which means we've got to do more damage, I'm assuming. You're accused of worshipping demons. Don't tell me who to worship. Pay attention to the enemy's uh, attack. He's about to attack you. The number indicates the amount of damage he's going to deal. And deals damage. Enemy will attack uh, your heroes. You need to defend yourself. Skill cards, unlike attack, they don't deal damage. But they. Okay, we understand what attack is. Increase block from guards by one. So we probably want to do this first. And then do this. We get exactly the amount, of the amount of damage that we need. So what's this mean? Enemies added a status card to your deck. Okay, so. We draw that. It's gotta be bad. How could Lord Sigmund go so low? We're going down now. I'm disgusted to even just spit on you. Uh, cards come into your hand from the deck. Look through the deck. See what we got. Okay. We've got a miss coming, but that's okay. He's got a block. No one's gonna attack you, which means it's a perfect time to play a talent card. Remove from the game until the end of the battle. Okay, so basically this is our power card, which means that every time we do that, we get it. Very much like a Slater Spire power card. You always gain the effect given by the, by the card, obviously. Gain one health. We know this. Uh, we have one energy to play, so these are gonna do like 18 damage. Not bad. Uh, cards from your hand go into the discard. We can filter them too. Enter. The shattered, I'm guessing, is the vulnerable. The name's added a curse card to your deck. Uh, harmful cards that clutter your hand and have negative effect. Curses aren't removed from the battle. Interesting. That sucks. Now uh, you've drawn a status card. Now play this card. Burn ethereal if left in hand. Game miss. Okay. We have to get rid of it. Uh, cards like that don't get discarded upon playing. They get burned. You can view your cards there. Look in this one. Burn cards are not removed from the game or shuffled back into the deck. To return to battle, left click. Uh, so this is our artifacts. We have artifacts. Gain one attack damage per strength. Sword, if HP is greater than 80%, gain two strength. Very good. And potions, gain armor. So we could pop that, gain five armor. Beat the enemies. So 
we are not taking any damage. So we should be just... What does this do? Halves all blocks and heals gained from skills. Interesting. The shattering is not vulnerable. It's anti heal tech, I guess. So we're gonna take a lot of damage here. Burn a random card. So that costs three. Damage from lunge increases by one. Can we actually kill someone? What if we hit this guy? Um, do we know who he's going to attack? Oh, I mean, he's going to attack this guy now. And the heretic. And done. You get to choose a reward. Rewards are cards you get at the end of the turn. You can take and skip if we don't. Zero armor. So that means burn at the end of the turn if it remains in hand. Increase damage taken of the next instance. Reduced to one. Okay. In one energy. Draw two. I like this one. You received an item as a reward. Hey. Ooh. And another potion. Okay, so we have like a an inventory system. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Equip the hero with a new sword, hover over the curse over the sword, and left click. Drag it. You can use some consumables. Austin to doing it. Look through our deck. But we still have this bad luck. Yes. That's kind of annoying. Northern Gate. Day went well. We burned two villagers to the ground. These people are not worthy of our pity. Let contagious filth enter their homes. Demons will devour their souls and enslave their body. Oh, it's, we came to the walls of the castle, the Cathedral of Nightmares. At night, I was haunted by anxious thoughts. The real battle is closed, but the re reinforcements are not here. They went all the way to the rotten box. What could have gone wrong? We can train, and this will upgrade. So, gain two energy, draw two. But it still gets burned, which is annoying. I uh, deal three damage five times to random enemies. Pretty good. Um, and what are these? Just go to 16. No. The two. You know what? I like this. Get some mallet. I will say this game is very pretty. Got a very nice, unique art style. Uh, it's not as uh, gruesome, grimy as uh, Darkest Dungeon. Here is your goal. Uh, on the left of your items, background, spenders items. So we can sell this. Elven Amulet. Gain one energy and four evasion. If no block at the end of your turn, gain one evasion. Can I buy that? Some cards add items to your deck. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. And then we can remove our curse. We have So that's like a negative. Uh, 
I'm assuming these are both health. Yeah. Open dance. Ooh. Yes. Oh, that's not the right one. So now we will have a. If there's no block, we gain evasion one. That's a unique uh, mechanic in a roguelike to have deck builder as well as inventory management and upgrades. Kind of cool. It's like artifact plots. Uh, on the second day, we met with those who came, the demons. It was easy. They prepared. They were not our equal. However, there was too many demons. They pressed on and without a break, we fought without rest. I looked down at a few demons, but their place was taken by a creature larger and stronger. Then, when first cries for help were heard, I felt that we would not win this fight. Divert the attention to yourself. Yes, to battle. Where are you running to? Come closer, don't be afraid. At least one worthy opponent among you. Yes, even two. Oh no. Are we fighting two elites? Oh, damn. One player in an attack gains arm at the end of the turn. Right. Oh my god, really? One take gain arm at the end of a turn. Changes to defend yourself. No, I had one. The mana. To defend yourself, what is that? On playing a skill, gain strength. Ow. <laughs> Might as well do that. And just... We're not meant to win this. They're doing 60 damage. Elven damage. Guard me. Ah, oh, and we died to bleed. Forgive me, Mortis, we let you down. No, oh, it's fine. The reinforcements didn't come. I'll manage without them. I know, you've done everything. Calm down and hold on for a bit. Help will come. At least, I hope so. So, are we the bad guys? Cold wind blows, it chills you. Chills you to the bone. Bunch of... Well, we could assume that they're vampires, right? Normal. So, choose your difficulty. Just pick normal. Two snakes. Not the evil snake eating them. There's, there's no white snake. So are we heroes? Oh, my head splitting. What's going on? Hmm. I don't even know where to start. What are you interested in the most right now? The... Where are we? Somewhere between the elven fortifications and the heathlands in the tomb of Ingvar. Ingvar's dead? What happened to him? The wine you brought on the trip was poison. <laughs> Ingvar, Venadis, Bjorn, they're all dead. Go on, and tell me, why should I believe you? 
It's easy to see I'm telling the truth because their coffins are next to yours. You all died. I've brought you back to life. Okay, so You're we welcome. all got poisoned. Who poisoned the wine? Was it you? Nope. Me? Why would I kill you only to resurrect you? Who are you anyway? And what do you want from me? You may call me Mortis. You don't owe me anything. Just go home. Not so fast. Do you know who poisoned the wine? How much time has passed? Hey, yeah. And if Ingvar's dead, then who is ruling the Northern Gate? Too many this questions, guy Percival. Does looks very, uh, Why did you bring me back? vampire -y. What about the others? All in good time. I'll tell you when we meet again. I'll figure things out on my own. I'm not so sure I want to meet you again. I'm afraid this is inevitable. Safe journeys. Let me guess, I'm going to die and re resurrect in that area. <sighs> oh, my head. Damn it. What the hell is Wait, going okay. on here? Wait, okay. Some time Every loop? time you die, you come back here. Oh, well, I was right. I could have told you from the start. But I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, I suppose it's better than eternal oblivion. Go on. Are there any more surprises? You've moved back, not in space, but in time. Everything that happened after your resurrection hasn't happened yet. So what now? Should I start over? You probably get stronger. To answer my questions. All right, one thing at a time. Tell me everything you remember. I like that kind of, that's a cool premise. Like time loop. Oh my God. So I set out, feeling a vague anxiety, confused and discouraged. I couldn't even imagine how much things had changed. And I had no idea of the dangers that were awaiting me. You're a warrior. You're used to dangers, don't blame me. Any story must have an element of surprise in it. Yeah, okay. So, are these different quests? Well, we're going there now. You can't beat me. This guy. With severe wounds, gains second wind. Cool. What's adaptive mean? At the start of the battle, gain 5 armor if no HP damage was taken. Okay, cool. I got no shoes on. Out of breath, skips a turn. Adaptive, includes special options to evolve. Oh, okay, cool. So armor is different than block. Okay, at the end of the term, right. Okay, we've got to do 12 damage, which we can do right now. He tried. Some gold. Uh, deal 9 damage if the enemy is exposed. Deal 9 damage, remove a card of your choice from your discard. Top of the draw. Get some cycling going. Robbers have never before dared to enter the Elven Forests. They've come down from the north, from the Heathlands. Okay. It's a refuge of outcasts and fugitives from the Empire. Starvation and devastation may force even... Okay, Starvation so. and devastation may force even decent people to become bandits and marauders. So we can't, all this stuff here is blocked off now. Because we chose to go down here. So we can only do, um, blue stuff. Um, so we can, unknown event. Let's go here. I'm guessing as we die, we'll come back and we'll know what this event is. Passing through vomit, uh, passing to, through the forest, not vomit, came across a group of bandits. None of them took up arms, so 
I calmed down a little. I was invited to the bonfire, assuming that I wouldn't be able to refuse an invitation. It was warm. A little further away, uh, a few people were excited and throwing dice. All humans in the frontier except you are brigands from the heathland. They mistook you for one of their own. Come up to the fighting bandits, come up to gamblers, come up to the cage. Come up to the cage. I wanted to look at the cage, but wasn't allowed to do that. The bandits instantly unsheathed their weapons and told me that if I needed the captive, I would buy him out for a hundred coins. Sure, buy out. You know, I've been thinking. Turns are not my only way out. My way. The detail is the detail. very long. Are you thinking of going there? I wouldn't advise it. A You'll combat encounter a combat golem. The dwarves have placed these golems on all the paths leading from the frontier to the heathlands to prevent bandits from returning home. So is this the heathlands maybe? I'll try to destroy him. You won't survive his first attack without the insubstantiality effect. Insubstantiality. But there's another way. You can disable and even capture the golem. Okay, so did we we gain a captive? Did we gain a dude? Um, yes, yeah. We just try and hit as many unknown events. Oh, we got a little wolfie, little dog, little dog boy, and we're fighting a boar. Okay, we're gonna take twelve damage, but we will gain five damage. That should be enough. That's not enough because when losing HP gains strength. Gonna we'll take a breather seven times two. Thirty damage, huh? He is exposed, though. Maybe we hit him with as much as we can. No matter how many times you win, it yeah, he immediately like died. Time. Every time. Um, your six damage per attack played this turn. If enemy attempts to attack, gain two strength. Hmm. Now let's get strength going. So you listened to my advice and went home? I went to Sigismund, Ingvar's younger brother and the heir to the throne. To what end? What do you mean, to what end? Figure First out of what all, to do. to figure out what to do. I was certain that he wouldn't let Ingvar's death go unpunished. We both have much to find out. The farther I went, the more reasons I found for meeting with Sigismund. Let's start from the... If we don't know what this event is... War is filthy. Marauder. Came across one such piece of scum along the way. He lacked the capacity to even be embarrassed. On the contrary, he beckoned me over and asked me to help him pull the boots off of a corpse. Um... we got to attack? I feel like we're kind of paladin I decided to kill him and, and loot what I had stolen. Irony is certainly not your strong suit, my dear. Okay, so I think... Is that good or bad? He's got so much armor. I'm gonna whittle down that armor. Wait, is he gonna steal? The number of attacks depends on gold. Sometimes three. Not enough. Uh, 
10. Oh my god. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to, to do this. <laughs> Should be able to block all this. Plus we get the bonus from the uh the wolf. Yeah, he's doing five. I think it's better to hit with this, then do the double blow. Oh he's dead. How many does that make? Ooh, a lot of gold there. Burn a, card, burn a random card in hand costs zero to the end of battle. I like that. Um, no. Okay, so what do we got here? This one gives us double blow. This one gives us deal damage and gain gold. Okay. It does, it updates, that's kind of cool. Golden armor. Mostly useless, but it's beautiful. Beautiful armor. So we will know that there's a bandit camp here. And we know that there's a marauder here. I think I'm just going to kind of go this way. Or troll. The edge of the forest, I spied a pitiful troll falling in his eyes out. Instead of attacking me, as I would have expected, he pleaded, gesturing a sword stuck in his right, uh, his hide, right between the shoulder bone. Pull out the sword. Pulled it out and kept it. The troll was so grateful that he let me on his way without much of a threatening grab. Everything happened to the previous owner of the sword. <coughs> I didn't want to talk about it, he only complained about the pain. Give. He had the troll's wound and could talk to him for a while. I should find the previous owner. The sword was a human, most likely a bandit. Okay. Trolls have never been seen in the frontier, which wild wind has. I suspect it has something to do with the dwarf. Interest. You're right. Well, the trolls here. were brought here from Thundering Mountain by Thundering the Thundering Mountain? They have long this is probably Thundering Mountain. Giant that might be the... As draft animals. The, um, hinterlands or whatever it is. But somebody has given them the bad idea to train the trolls to consume elven flesh. Is this guy an elf? Or is he a Dracula? So I don't know. Do they want to impart the trolls with... Maybe there's no Draculas. Elven. I just assume there was because the coffin... That's one way of putting it. By the way, he drinks a lot of wine. I don't know if this is blood wine. There isn't much difference between elven and human meat. That much I figured out. Okay, so where do we want to go? This way. Join Lucky Fire and while the owner of the chest is probably dead. Open the chest. Ooh. Start a turn, gain strength, lose agility. So I only get to take one of those. Actually, sharp sword, sword. Okay, so this is just the one. Trade. care for it what do we got here increase maximum hp by 20 being four armor cool demonic armor elven armor Can we buy an elven hat gain invasion Let's take the heavy armor. Very cheap. And 
What else can we take? Maybe the fairy hat. They think about Zelda. Makes you look like a, a bit like a fairy elf. Okay, no, it doesn't. Yes. Look at us. We've got shoes on now. We're looking like a real person. So we have to go here. Interesting. Because we went here. We have to go over here now. And away through the ruins of an elven outpost, I ran into a group of dwarves and noticed me and immediately headed towards me. Hi, dude. Over to a crumbly building and took off through the rubble. Dwarves couldn't catch up. Fortunately, I seem to have torn my coin purse. Up my losses. Could have gone back for the gold, but I didn't want to risk running to the dwarves. You mean ashes? It's worth looking for there. Dwarves looted everything long ago. And what were they doing there? So now, next time I come back, I might be able to loot the um, ashes. Finally, some rest. Okay. So what does this do? It costs zero. Gain four strength. Zero. Damage withdrawal one. This turns into gain block draw one. Or armor. You know what? I think that one's good. Try as I might, I can't remember how I came to the frontier or how I died. You were accompanying Ingvar on a peacekeeping mission to the frontier. The dwarves and the elves were on the verge of war. Only the Lord of the Northern Gate managed to bring them to the negotiating table. But the mysterious demise of your party ruined everything. Why weren't our bodies returned home? As the dwarven invasion began, you were buried hastily and with no ceremony. And then you dug the us up. The affairs of the living, as ever, turned out to be more important than the problems of the dead. Okay, so... Right at the border, I came across another dwarf. He looked harmless, but his appearance turned out to be deceiving. We extract the dwarf who was intended... Indeed, rem unremarkable. It could not be said for his tamed beast. It was a troll tamer. Okay. I was about to have a close encounter with the pet. I want a sick method. I was the carrot. Okay, so this is an epic battle. Probably like a boss. Yes, definitely a boss. Trolls are the most innocent victims of war. When wounded, severely gains fury. Playing two attacks in one turn changes intention to fury. Okay. So let's hit this. Wait, no. We don't want to do that. It is zero, though. It's an armor. He does damage. Probably be better to kill this guy. That's just better than that. Two armor. He's fury, okay. Sixteen times four. Gains one fury when playing a card, when playing two cards, same type in a row. Okay. 
What does Fury do? Deals double damage. Oh shit. Well. Chaos. Lunge. Very nice. God. I need the strength. going for the kill on that guy he's dead take three damage no we don't not my precious dog um yes pretty good but that's not attacking us either I need a provoke or something. The more that this guy stays alive, the better. He's getting fury. Got 12 strength. Okay. Move a card from your choice from the discard pile to the top. So if we do this, then we'll get that next turn. We kind of, <laughs> kind of fluffed that up a bit. Completely evades the next attack. Thank God for elven hats. Come on dog, you can do it. Destroyed. First boss completed. Very nice. Or a boss completed, I should say. So talents. On plane lunges, restores to health. Swap the effects of strength and agility. On take gaining gold, gain one block per coin. Well, this is really good for us. Box hat, huh? Immune for the first four turns. Box cannot be gained. Okay, so kill him fast. Gain 20 HP when drawing a status card. Gain one energy. Well, that's really good. Gain 8 strength if no weapon in hand. Draw left hand and a right hand up at the start of the turn. What do we got here? Of my choice. That always take energy. We got so much rewards. As I understand, Sigismund was your friend in your past life. My only friend. We'd been friends since childhood. And you had no other friends? Nope. The notables find it hard no to friends. Hide their Thanks. Arrogance. Thanks for rubbing it in. But see, can you Oop. imagine? One time he even punched Ingvar when he told me to clear the table. Are you joking? Did he really punch the Lord of the Northern Gate? No, of course not. We were all kids back then. We were all kids. <laughs> The Crimson Steps. Right, okay, so now we're in a different area. And we can make it to this thing. Oh, so yeah, that, that's a trophy, huh? Can I see what right-hander and left-hander are? Yeah, let's see what this is. I'm gonna go here because it's the fastest route. Right beneath me collapse. 
Come right into an earthworm's den. If I had a cracking egg. Okay, so is that evil? Okay. So I've got no hand. Ethereal burn. Deal 14 damage, inflict, expose, and increase the damage from right hand by three. So you didn't fight fair. That's good. That's a good start. Right. So that gives us two things. A breather never hurt anybody. Ain't strength every time a burn card is run. Do we get that every round? That's that's cool. Um I don't really need it. Sure. Give us the worm egg. A bunch of potions. I got to learn more about the local fauna. It wasn't a pleasant meeting. The earthworms are the foundation of all life in the Crimson Steppes. Their tunnels provide shelter to the local goblins. Their Goblin. meat becomes food for the orcs. And who becomes food for the earthworms? Both the goblins and the orcs? Everyone and anyone. Caravan. Not for free. Yeah. We have 3,000. Take us. How much is it going to cost me? A uh, hundred? Cool. We're buying some gobos. Very kind of gremlin esque. Some goblins. You can negotiate with goblins, but not this time. Okay, so he's kind of got like a ward. We gotta take nine. This should be enough. We do this. This. Didn't even have time to let out the squeak. We should take no damage. Oh, our dude will though. That's, it was the golden scales that we got. I don't think we need any of those. I've always admired the Myron goblins. goblins. There are so few of them. Few of them if to fight against. To Underneath the surface of the earth, the crimson steps There's on. a bunch of earthworms. So easy to get lost in this goblins are able to adapt to there such a environment. They hide from the orcs, able they to stealth pop them. out. They ambush, little ambush really bastards. I came, I saw, I took. I don't remember who said that. Spiked shield. At the end of the turn, deal one damage to all enemies per four blocks. Okay. We don't want axes. What am I currently wearing? Click for weakness. Cool. Let's take the spike boots. Five armor and bard. Bob. An oasis. I don't believe it. Go to the oasis. Might as well though. Go to the resting place. Imagine how I would stress myself in the shade. Slept as long as I wanted. I'll find some routes. Felt like I caught a gold. Um, train. Let's upgrade our guard. Golden scales. 
Okay, one block and one armor. Wow, that's really good. Um, I don't really have anything. Yes, this is better if it's, it's literally double. The chest. Increase max HP by 30. Gained barb. And we will get, when taking damage, it fixed fly bleeding barb. What are we actually wearing? In four armor? I think we can take this. That way we are now... Um, it was just heavy armor. We're now Bob. We're just getting, getting all the luckiness. Which gold. What does Sadist boots do? When inflicting exposed, inflict weakness. That's okay. Gain to helm. In invasion and bar. And I don't want it, but sure. Train? to make chaos free hey what are we versing now i didn't think we'd get this up versing a big fat goblin i like the brave goblins but this one he had a alliance with an earthworm goblin fight the orcs the orcs fight the elves the elves fight the dwarves are you beginning to understand Without us, humans are the wor are worse than orcs. Are you an orc? Okay, left. Right. Chaos. Lunge. Edda. Lunge. And turn. Gate the next deeper. That's okay because prison stats belong to the goblin. You always do this. He is weakened. Oh, God. He's definitely got to summon something, right? Summons giant worm. Like clockwork. Hello. Where did this one come from? No Body sends a list of battle power. skills. Poison the skin. And armor is lost. Damn. Deals damage to HP inflicts poison. I don't like any of that. Huh? Well, this ex did do it. Into energy. Yeah, let's use that. Okay, we're good. Don't be healing. He's doing something. 70. 30, 30. He, he was stunned. 
for that. That's good. He's doing 25. I didn't see that. Ooh, we'll get 14 plus 8. That's not bad. We did get poisoned though. Exposed is good because it deals double damage. If we go exposed, weaken. Lunge. Lunge. He might die on me. Oh, he dies on the wolf's attack. Yeah, we're going to do 90. We can do 90. Quite easy. First we hit him with one of these. Then we hit him with one of these. Hit him with one of those. Buff me. Did you decide to have a rest? I did a lot of damage. Man, this this shackles really good. Um, burn double current current strength. Okay, that's really good. Spiked helmet. Can yeah, sure, we'll take it. That's really good. That's good for a boss. Okay, so. 8 strength and gain left and right, or we can take this. At the end of the turn, I think this is the goblin? At the end of the turn, gain 7 blocks for each card in hand. Keep there. We get to forge something? Sure. Make that extremely cheap. To the northern gate, I went. So as you can see, what that is, but I guess we come from different areas, maybe? Maybe we always come from here. No, you would you would come from here if you came from that side. Idol of the Fire Brothers. We made 300 points. I wanted so badly to be home. But the more I saw of what was happening around me in the world, the more... Had you hoped to see the Northern Gate as it was before your death? At first, yes, but... And the quicker, the better. Okay. You sound so... Don't worry. Bit by bit, almost everything will be... Don't worry. I feel like... Bit by I've... bit, almost everything will be revealed Thank you. you. I've gone very quickly. And that, that might be a little bit bad. Um, because I've gone quite quickly. Uh, quickly, we, we do have three sets. Um, is it possible to if we return to the crypt? We had a good, uh, good little fight there. We didn't get level two though. Um, that that sucks, but we did end early. So we rebirth. Start back at square one, but not precisely true. Of course, you lose all your acquired skills and equipment, but it is something we have knowledge. So we can change class difficulty. Um, right now, we got this dude. So these are the class items that he gets. So kind of like woven boots, shackles, strength stuff. Uh, we don't have in a normal. Hang on. Do we have any more? These things? No, we don't. Okay. So this is the roguelike aspect aspect of this. We can continue on our way. We wake up once again. And it just jumps into here. The last time you got far, saw you prepared properly, but we get some of these things. Sure. Thank you. 
So it's like I look in the... And if you don't like... What I don't like is getting... That's ex... And how long will it last? It'll last until I decide. Do you have a problem with... Okay, so... Event lock. Meet with uh, Sigmund. So here we have... We went this way. We saw the bandit camp. Plenty to do in the camp. We saw the marauder. Or troll. So this kind of... This is really cool. It kind of shows us what we can do and the, the other things are just stuff random anyway thank you guys for watching very long video uh i didn't expect to i kind of expected to die on the first boss or the second boss but i guess we got through both of them but thank you guys for watching um yeah this game uh it's out go play it very cool very interesting very slate spy mixed with darkest dungeon anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye